Okay, you like my t-shirt today? I kind of like it. So, Esprit, giving us all hope, and hopefully right now we're all thinking about hope, but you know, I like this as well. Okay, the identity symbol. See, I identify with hope. No, I just thought it was a nice t-shirt. Okay. Um, this one, question 3E. Now you might have thought, hang on, aren't we supposed to be getting a product of two terms? And here we've got 2x squared, 6x squared, 10x, you've got three terms? Yeah, so you've just got to know which are the two separate terms you want to look at, okay? So I'm hoping it's obvious, but the trigonometric terms join them together. Okay, so you've got 6 squared x tan x, that's one term. Think of it as one term, okay, to make, make it easy for you. And then 2x squared is the other one, okay? Now I'm hoping that you're not even going to consider this one to be you, okay? Um, because if you do, you're going to get into an awful mess. The slightest thought had not even begun to speculate about the merest possibility of entering my mind. Here's a quote for you. Which series or book did that one come from? Answers, please. Okay. Right. Um, this is going to be easy then, isn't it? 2x squared, that's 4x. Okay. So dv dx is going to be the other one. Okay. 6 squared x, tan x. And at that stage, you're probably thinking, the lesson finished yet? Can I go home now? <laughs> That's the sort of look I normally get in class when I'm doing this. To Sorry, it's kind of, yeah, it amuses me a little bit, okay? Not in a dark way, not in a sadistic way, but it's just, it's, it's nice. It's a really simple answer to it, okay? And this is one of the lovely things about maths and integration. It looks really hard, doesn't it? But it's actually kind of easy. Anyway, let's just work backwards, okay? So, hmm. Maybe you remember this, okay? Um, uh, I, I don't like using different colours all the time, you probably noticed. I'll grab this off later, okay? Maybe you remember this, that when you differentiate sec x, yeah, you get sec x tan x, right? And that's one of the derivative results you need to know, okay? But you've almost got it, haven't you? Okay, so you see how to change this to get something like that, okay? Let's just change that to sec squared x, shall we? And see what happens. Now differentiate that, so you get 2, let's put a 2 in there, sec x times sec x tan x, yeah? 2 sec x times the derivative sec x tan x, so that's going to be 2 sec squared x tan x. See how it works? Okay. So in order to get this here, if I just halve that, and hence half this as well, then that will work. The derivative of half sec squared x is sec squared x tan x. So in reverse, the integral of that is this. Okay. So b equals one half sec squared x, and that's it. See, lovely. Okay, not scary. Lovely. All right. So let's just get rid of this now and work out what that is. So the integral then becomes uv that times that. So two times a half. So that's going to be x squared sec squared x and then subtract integral of v du dx so half times 4 is 2 that's going to be 2x sec squared x dx okay. you see what's coming now? yes exactly got to use by parts again every time you use by parts it's like yeah you get to do this again it's great okay you can never have too much of by parts okay so let's just have you as Again, um, 2x. Now, I mentioned a few videos ago something about consistency. Consistency means if you're using by parts twice, um, if you're using u as the algebraic expression in the first application, be consistent and use the algebraic term in the second application as well. Okay? Um, and the same again with the dv dx. If you've got the trigonometric term as dv dx, make sure the trigonometric term is here as well. Um, if you don't do that, give it a go if you want, but it's not going to work out for you. Okay, so you want dv dx as sec squared x. Okay, and v is equal to, I'm hoping you're getting better at these. Okay, this was, and where is 10a? Hey, it's x. Sorry, it's 10x. Okay, 
but I'm hoping that from the start example I gave you yesterday or a few days ago, depending on when you're watching this, you remember that the derivative of tan x is x squared x. Okay? So now our integral becomes, um, this remember it's part of our final answer, x squared sec squared x, and then subtract. Now, as I've said before when I've done this, put the rest of it in brackets so you don't make a mistake. So you can have uv, that times that, so that's 2x, tan x, and then subtract integral of v du dx, so 2 tan x, vx, okay, and let's just close the bracket, okay. I've only got space for the final answer, okay, but that's all we need, to be honest, okay, that's all we need. So here we go, x squared. Decisions. Do I crouch down or sit on the floor? There we go. I'm kneeling down. And no, in case you're asking, I've never knelt facing the other way. I've not knelt to Lord Vader. I forced other people to, but I haven't. I am joking, of course. Uh, so what is the integral of tan x? Okay, so I'm going to stand up. Yeah, what is the integral of tan x? Well, if you saw one of the early videos, I showed you how to do the integral of cot x, didn't I? Okay. Um, and what I did was I split it up into cosine and sine. I'll do the same with this. I am going to use a different colour this time. I've just about left enough space down by there. Hopefully the camera picks it up. Okay. Um, but when you write tan x as sine x over cos x, can you see that that's just going to be a natural logarithm? Okay, because you differentiate the denominator fraction. You get a multiple of the numerator on top, so that would be natural log of cos x, but it's negative, okay, because when you differentiate cos x, you get negative sine x, so negative natural log of cos x, okay, and then the best way of writing that is to write it as natural log of sec x, okay, because you use the power rule, you put the negative one there as a power, you have cos x to the negative one, which is sec x, okay, so that there is just going to be sec x natural log sec x, okay? If you remember that result, then well done. Well done if you remember that result. And I mean that genuinely. Okay? I mean most things genuinely, okay? But I guess sometimes you can't tell if I'm joking or not. Okay, but yeah, I, I genuinely mean that. Okay? But there, that's, that's a lovely question. That really is nice, okay? Um, sometimes that's the last thing I get to do in a lesson, okay? And I kind of leave that up there on the board for the rest of the day so that I can actually look at it and think, yeah, that's a lovely bit of maths, okay? Um, yeah, do you watch those Big Bang Theory episodes where um, there's some interesting um, stuff going on the whiteboards, okay? And sometimes there's some interesting math stuff there as well. Um, yeah, I have to pause the actual um, program and have a look to see what's going on there. I'm not checking its validity because I'm sure it's been checked and it's all correct, okay? But it's, so there's a lot of lovely, interesting stuff there. So treat yourself, treat yourself. Watch some Big Bang episodes. Do it. Watch some Big Bang, okay? And try and highlight those boards. And see if there's some really cool maths, okay? If you've got any cool pictures you want to upload, send them to me. Great, okay? If you find any integration, wonderful, okay? Wonderful. I'd really appreciate that, okay? All right, well, hope you enjoyed. See you. Stay safe. Love maths.